How's it going everyone? Today we got a story time of a Minecraft kid who ends up destroying his entire family because he just won't stop playing Minecraft. I know that sounds pretty ridiculous, but uh, the life of the Minecraft kid is ridiculous. I know you'll enjoy today's story, so leave a like in the video to claim your free nothing. Subscribe if you're new. That all being said, let's just jump right into it. So anyways, right, this all happened at a family reunion that the subscriber had. So at the subscri in the subscriber's family, every year or so, they would have everyone come together. So all the cousins and all, like, er everyone would come together. And they would normally meet at, like, uh, his grandparents' house. And uh, that was kind of, like, the centralized location. His grandparents had a pretty nice slash big house so they could host a lot of people. It was kind of like a gathering during the day. And then they would all have dinner together, and then they would all go their separate ways. And they would do this every single year. I think they just had a big emphasis on keeping the family unit together, and it was just like kind of like a nice event or whatever. So the subscriber also, one of his cousins, was we're going to call the Minecraft kid. Because bro would literally just exist in Minecraft. Bro, like every single thing he would do would have to be Minecraft related. Not only was he playing Minecraft 24-7 on his little iPad or whatever, dude would speak in Minecraft terms. Like, I, I don't know, like he, he, he'd just be sitting there with the other cousins and he'd be like, hmm, my hunger bar is depleting. Instead of being like, yo, I'm hungry, bro. Yeah, he'd just say stuff like that. Anyways, though, so at this big family reunion, um, the subscriber, like, he walks in, and this is the first, it, it, like, it, things seem pretty normal at first. So he gets there, and he gets there a little bit early, and he sees that, like, you know, he's greeted by his grandma or whatever. And he sits down on the couch with the other two cousins. And one of the cousins is the Minecraft kid. And the Minecraft kid is on his iPad, iPad playing Minecraft, but in the meantime, the subscriber, you know, talks it up with the other, uh, the other cousin. So their grandfather, or at least the subscriber's grandfather, I don't totally know the relationship. Uh, I, I think they all have the same grandfather here, but family trees get complicated, man. I, I don't know. Anyways, right, the grandfather comes, walks on in, and he sits down. And he's like, hey guys, like, you know, how are my grandchildren doing, whatever. And so they all kind of go back and forth. They go one by one saying like, oh, this is what I've been up to. This is what I've been doing, stuff along those lines. And so during this whole time, I don't know, whenever like someone starts talking, if you're like on your phone or something like that, which is fine. But if someone comes up to you and starts talking to you, I always find that like, okay, I need to like get off my phone. I need to give like full attention, whatever, right? And, uh, but the Minecraft kid, he was just sitting there, like, he wasn't, he was just, like, not even, like, kind of playing Minecraft and paying attention, which, still, you should give, you know, your grandfather comes over, he sees you, like, twice a year, just give him your full attention, bro, the creepers aren't going anywhere, but he wasn't even giving half attention, like, the Minecraft kid was still engulfed in his iPad, like, literally his, in, like, I, I don't know, man, like, robbers could come into the house rob the entire house, at, like, everyone in the house at gunpoint, and the Minecraft kid wouldn't even be aware of it. Like, the robbers could, like, literally steal the pants off of his, like, off of his, like, legs, and he wouldn't even know because he's so busy and engulfed in playing said Minecraft. So the grandfather starts to notice this, and I think he gets, like, a little bit annoyed, which I can, I honestly, I, you know, when grandparents or, like, older generation people get really annoyed at kids being on technology, I don't even blame them. Like, first of all, they probably don't have a phone, so they don't understand, like, Loki, how addicting it is. Uh, but also, like, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's facts that, like, you should really be paying attention to people and social interactions. And so, I, like, the grandfather was like, hey, like, buddy, can you put the iPad away? Like, we're having a conversation. And the Minecraft kid is like, no, I have to beat the Quipo right now. And the grandfather was, like, a little bit taken aback by him just being straight up, like, no. Like, instead of him being like, hey, like, I'm just finishing up, like, yeah, I'll put it away in one second. Like, even that wouldn't be a great answer. Like, bro, you're playing creative mode Minecraft. You can pause that stuff, dude. Um, but anyways, right, yeah, so, uh, sure enough, the, like, uh, the subscriber at this point is like, oh, wow, like, the Minecraft kid really just told our grandfather, like, basically to suck it, bro, like, nah, I'm, ah, uh, Quipo needs to be destroyed, like, he's, <laughs> bro's actually like, nah, I, I, I'm on that grind, bro, I'm on that Minecraft grind. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber's, like, kind of looks over at his grandfather and assumes that he's not gonna be super happy about that. And the subscriber was absolutely right, right? The grandfather was like, like, you look, I asked very nicely for you to put it away. What do you, like, you, you can't just tell me no, like, I'm your grandfather. I only get to see you X number of times per year. I just want to have a conversation with you. And Minecraft kid is like, well, 
if I'm not going to be respected on my hunt against the Kweepas, well, I'm going to walk away. And so the Minecraft kid gets up and while still playing Minecraft on his iPad, like runs up the stairs into like one of the bedrooms in the second floor. So this boy, like the grandfather's like, what? The subscriber's like, haha, don't, don't, because the subscriber's like a couple years older, like the Minecraft kid is younger than the subscriber. So the, uh, my, uh, the subscriber, you know, looks at the grandfather's like, hey man, like don't take that personally. I, I don't know, just trying to like be like, hey, like let's not make this into something. But the grandfather's like starting to get a little worked up about it. He's like, did you guys just see that? Like he, I asked very nicely for him to put the iPad away. I never get to talk to him anyways. He's always playing that little dumb game. And instead of like putting it away, he, he runs away to play more Minecraft. Like I only see him twice per year. Like this is so disrespectful. And like the grandfather is low-key getting like a little bit worked up by it, which I mean, it's always good to have like control of your emotions, but I also totally get it. Like I totally understand why he was getting super worked up. So yeah, anyways, right, uh, the subscriber starts to realize that, uh-oh, things are starting to go down a little bit. And the grandfather gets up, he's like, I'll be right back. So the grandfather walks over to the room where all the parents are. And all the parents, cousins, whatever, like all the other, all the adults, I should say. Because um, there's like aunts, uncles, moms, dads, whatever. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's like, he starts basically explains to them what happened. And he's like, isn't that ridiculous? So the parents of the Minecraft kid are there too. And here's the thing, like, I say this in my Spoiled Kid videos a lot, but it also applies now. Like, you can only be so mad at, like, the 12-year-old who does, who's, like, kind of a jerk. Because you can only be so mad at them, because at the end of the day, it really is their parents that more or less teach them to be a jerk, if that makes sense. Yeah, so anyways, right, uh, the grandfather goes into the other room and is talking with all the parents. And uh, so some of the parents are, or a lot of the parents, I should say, are on the side of the grandfather being like, hey, like, you know, we, someone should go up up there and, like, take his iPad away and make him, like, you know, I don't know, talk with all the other guys. But as I was saying just a second ago, you can only be so mad, like, at a kid when they're being a jerk or whatever, because a lot of, like, it really is up to the parents, like, how, okay, a little bit's out of your control. Like, you could be a great parent and your kid could still be a bit of a jerk, right? However, I will say a lot of it is kind of parent-dependent. And it became super clear because the mom and dad of the Minecraft kid started to get super defensive, like, he's just doing what makes him happy. Like, you want to take away what makes him happy from him? Being, like, really overdramatic and super lame. And so the grandfather's like, like, no, like, I just want to have a conversation with him. And they're like, well, you, you can't have a conversation with him if he's playing Minecraft. Is it so hard? Do you need 100% of his attention? And, like, they were, they were kind of being, like, I don't know. I, 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 part of me kind of feels like the parents of the Minecraft kid were kind of coping with the fact that their son was just, like, was a Minecraft kid, bro, like, literally on his iPad 24-7. His iPad is injected into his veins. It's attached to his, like, brain stem or whatever. Um, they were probably, I feel like they were kind of a little bit coping, like, oh, it's not that bad. You're the crazy one, right? Like, we're not bad parents. Whatever, right? So, uh, yeah, the grandfather is, like, uh, arguing back, being like, you know, like, I just want to, like, you know, all, like, the other kids here, like, they have their technology, but when I went over to talk to them, they put it away. And the Minecraft kids' parents are like, don't make this, like, of our son versus, like, his cousins. Like, that's so rude of you to do. Which, like, I get, like, not wanting to have a kind of, like, a competition in a sense of, like, who's the best kid, whatever. Those are always a little bit toxic. But all the grandfather here did was just use it as, like, a comparison method. Like, just as a metric to be like, okay, this is what everyone else is doing, and this is what your son is doing. This is not normal. Which, like, I think that's a totally fair thing to bring up. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess. It's actually not a bit of a mess. It becomes more of a mess because there's, like, a bit of tension, right? There's a bit of tension. So the subscriber turns to his other cousin and is like, look, like, our, our family is kind of like... Because before this, they had gotten into, like, smaller fights, but the whole family was kind of a little bit on edge. Like, it was... There was a little bit of tension, and they were one big fight away from having a massive falling out. So the subscriber was worried that this was that big fight. Like, that the Minecraft kid playing Minecraft on his iPad was going to be the reason why the family fell apart. So the subscriber kind of turns to the other cousins, like, look, we got to go up there and get him to come down and not be on his iPad. Like, that might, like, we're actually at serious risk of, like, issues coming up because of it. 
Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber goes with the other cousin, and they walk upstairs. And as they're walking away, they start to hear, like, the arguments getting a little bit more heated, because the parents of the Minecraft kid are very firmly holding their ground of the grandfather and everyone else are out of line for saying anything about their sweet baby princess, right? Um, so yeah, sure enough, the subscriber and the other cousin, they walk upstairs, and they go to the room, and they, because they hear, like, the Minecraft sounds coming from a certain room, so they go to open up the door, and it's locked, right? So, uh, the subscriber's like, hey, buddy, like, or bro, like, could you open this up? And the Minecraft kid's like, not if you're trying to take away my Minecraft. And the subscriber's like, no, dude, we're just coming to hang out. I mean, they were trying to take away his Minecraft, but they weren't going to do it forcefully. Like, they weren't going to rip the iPad out of his hand. Like, they knew that that would just make the conflict even more intense. So what they were going to do, they were just going to try and talk him out of it. Be like, oh, like, do you want to go downstairs? Like, I'm sure your grandfather would like to talk to you and maybe, like, take a break from the Minecraft or whatever. So eventually the Minecraft kid walks up and he goes over and he unlocks the door and then they open it up and he sits right back down on the couch or on the bed. And so they sit down they're like, hey, man, how's the Minecraft going? And he's like, uh, pretty good. Uh, the Kweepa did destroy my house, and he blew up my chest, which uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played Minecraft, but that is actually one of the most annoying things. If you have a chest full of, like, a completely full chest, and then a creeper blows it up, dude, that is actually the most annoying thing to deal with. And yeah, side tangent, right? Um, so the subscriber is like, haha, okay, man, um... Any, any thoughts of maybe going down and, like, talking to your grandfather or whatever? And the Minecraft kid's like, well, actually, he was quite mean to me and was kind of being a big jerk. So, no, I'm going to just continue to farm more Kweepas. And so the subscriber's like, okay, man, <laughs> uh, m maybe you should reconsider. Like, uh, I don't know, I kind of I kind of feel like, you know, your, your grandfather, you know, you don't, you, you don't really get to see him that much. And, uh, you know, you get to play Minecraft whenever, like, you can literally go back home after this and just go to your bed and play Minecraft. And you can wake up the next day and play Minecraft, but you can't wake up the next day and, you know, have a nice conversation with your grandfather. And the Minecraft kid's like, don't care, farming Kweepos right now. And so the subscriber kind of looks at his cousin like, okay. And they're like, all right, man, we're going to be back. So the subscriber walks out with his cousin and he's like, dude. Like, the Minecraft kid is not budging. Hopefully things downstairs have kind of calmed down. Um, so they go downstairs, and they realize pretty quickly that things, in fact, have not calmed down. Because they walk downstairs, and they hear, How dare you say that about my son? And the grandfather yell back, How dare you parent your son to be like that? And then, Oh my god, are you commenting about my parenting? Back when I, you raised me? Blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And so the subscriber realized, dang, like, even if the Minecraft kid was able to come down at this very second, it might have even been too late at that point. Real quick, you made as far into the video, comment Minecraft down below. And if you're on YouTube, and if you don't know that we're on Spotify, we are. So make sure to check out the first link in the description or the pinned comment for a link to the Spotify page and go listen on there if you use Spotify as well. Anyways, though, so uh, yeah, this this at this point, right, the subscriber is like, okay, um, it's looking a little tough, like this situation is not great. So he kind of like walks back into the living room area and he just hears like the grandfather and the, the parents of the Minecraft kid going at it. And it gets to the point where the grandfather's like, you know what? I'm going to have a good conversation with my grandson. No matter if you want to interfere or not, I'm going up there. I'm taking away his iPad. I'm sitting him down and I'm going to like explain to him how the world works. Like someone needs to do what obviously you guys haven't been doing. So I will say it's always a touchy subject to be like, oh, you're a bad parent. Like that's a very touchy subject. Um, and definitely the grandfather was probably not going about it in the best way possible. Um, like if he was just like being a sweet old little grandfather, I'm sure they wouldn't care. But he was kind of being like, you guys are bad parents. And I mean, it's not ideal parenting to let your son just be on his iPad all day. Like you're not wrong. Yeah, but at the same time, right, the subscriber was just kind of thinking like, Oh, like, this is probably not going to be good, bro. This is probably not going to be good. Because the grandfather basically says, I'm going to go do this like myself. So the grandfather storms out. And the subscriber and his cousin are sitting on the bench or sitting on the couch. And so the grandfather goes up to them and says, where is your cousin? And the subscriber is like, uh, I think he's upstairs. And the grandfather just like, sl let's like 
powers like powers past them it's like storms away right and like basically the whole group of adults in the kitchen start like walking after and some of them were on the grandfather's side at least in the beginning but a lot of them just didn't want to see the whole family gathering explode over minecraft like that's that's a little goofy bro but uh yeah so the grandfather's like storming up and the parents of the minecraft kid are like you better not do anything you better let him stay in there and play his little minecraft game if that's what if that's what makes him happy then that's what makes him happy you know what i mean and so yeah sure enough right the minecraft kid is just sitting in the room all by himself playing Minecraft when he hears a knock on the door. So he's gone ahead and re... Um, so he's gone ahead... Yeah, so the Minecraft kid has locked the door since uh, the subscriber went into it. And so the grandfather's at the door, and he knocks on it. He's like, hey, like, bud, like, I'm gonna need you to let me in. We're gonna have a little talk. And the Minecraft kid is like, no, I'm playing Minecraft right now. And so at this point, like, the grandfather's like, you know, bud, that's what actually what we need to talk about. So I'm going to need you to open it up right now. And at this point, everyone else is kind of caught up to the grandfather. And the Minecraft kid's parents are yelling, like, look, like, you know, he's just doing what makes him happy. Why would you interrupt that? And all that kind of stuff, right? And so, yeah, uh, sure enough, the grandfather keeps going at it, like, yo, I'm going to need you to open up. Okay, I don't think he says yo, dot, dot, dot. But he's like, hey, like, bud, like, I need you to open up this door. And the Minecraft kid's like, no. Um, so anyways, the grandfather walks downstairs into the kitchen, doesn't really tell anyone what he's doing. So at this point, right, the Minecraft kid's parents are talking, like, you know, we, we need to stop him somehow, and the thing is, like, a lot of, like, the other, like, parents there were in a weird position of, they don't necessarily want the, like, the grandfather to, like, blow up the house, basically, or blow up the family gathering by doing what he's doing, but at the same time, like... Minecraft kid kind of playing himself with all this. Like, I, they, they, they kind of, they, they agreed with the grandfather, but they just didn't feel, they, they didn't want to go through with what was necessary because it would just cause a huge issue. So anyways, right, eventually the grandfather comes back up. And what he got in the kitchen was the kind of the master key to all the rooms. So while the door was locked, there was like a master key that I guess they bought to make sure that, I, I don't know, for some reason. So the grandfather was like, all right, bud, I'm going to give you one more chance to open this up. Like, I'm going to be a lot nicer if you do. Doesn't let the Minecraft kid know that he has, like, a master key and it's going to open up either way. And the Minecraft kid's like, no, I'm playing Minecraft right now. Do not disturb me. And so anyways, right, uh, the grandfather's like, okay. At this point, the Minecraft kid's parents are like, don't you go in there. Let him do what he wants to do. And the grandfather's, like, just completely ignoring them at this point. Yeah, so anyways, right, the grandfather opens up the door. And I think the Minecraft kid was, like, a little bit taken aback because he just, like, looks up at the, at the grandfather. And the grandfather's like, all right, you got to talk to me now. And because I think the Minecraft kid thought, oh, well, I have the door locked. I can just sit in here and play Minecraft the whole time and no one can do anything. <laughs> right? Uh, so the uh, subscriber is watching as, like, the Minecraft kid parents are like, don't you do anything. Like, let him play. And the grandfather walks over and literally just picks the iPad out of this Minecraft kid's hand and, like, shuts it off and puts it to the side. He's like, we are going to have a good conversation if it's the last thing I do. And the Minecraft kid is like, wait, wait, I was in the middle of a... Wait, 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 wait. And he runs over to the, mi to like the, the iPad. And uh, apparently the game was still running. And I think the Minecraft kid was in the middle of, like, a creeper farm or whatever. So there's, like, a lot of creepers or something. And I think because the f somehow one of them must have escaped... And, like, you know, since the subscriber is no longer playing Minecraft, but it was still running, the creeper exploded, killing him, but also it was, like, his creeper farm, this was kind of dumb, but his creeper farm was near his chest room. So, like, 15 double chests stacked with full items exploded, and all that stuff was everywhere. So when the Minecraft kid sees this, he says, No! And then bursts into tears. <laughs> bro is actually crying over Minecraft, bro. That's ridiculous. So the grandfather's like, uh, what? Like, are we, are we gonna have a talk now? And the Minecraft kid's parents explode on the grandfather. Like, look at what you did to him. This was his emotional support Minecraft. What? Whatever, right? And they say, you know, and they say, you know what? We're taking him out of here. Screw you and this entire family. And like the subscribers like, dude, what? And everyone else is kind of like, relax. Like we were just here. They're like, you didn't stop him from taking the Minecraft away from him. And uh, everyone's like, yeah, well, he was on my, like, they were slowly kind of siding with the grandfather a little bit, but they didn't, they didn't side with the grandfather to the extent of his measures or whatever. But anyways, the, the Minecraft, his parents are like, we're, we're leaving right now and we're never coming back. So yeah, they storm out of there and um, 
the rest of the family event is super awkward because like the there's a lot of tension for what went down i mean the minecraft kid and his parents are gone but there's just a lot of awkwardness that has transpired at this point and this is really really awkward so apparently a couple weeks later the grandfather sends like an apology email even though the grandfather doesn't really feel like he's that much in the wrong but he values kind of like the family being together more than his pride which uh, you know that's that's a good thing to do however apparently the minecraft kids parents emailed back like we don't accept your apology like you're uh, my our son is still he's still rebuilding his minecraft world to this day which is probably cap bro creeper blew up you can get you can you can figure that out in 10 minutes it's annoying but come on now so yeah, uh, ever since then, they haven't had another family reunion. Sure, it's only been one year, and they've only missed one family reunion, but really, Minecraft Kid really destroyed the family over Minecraft. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the videos on screen right now. If you're listening on Spotify, support the channel by uh, watching another video, and peace.